I'm here with Ken's Creations, and I'll admit, every once in a while, I'll go to Cricut Design Space, and some truly funky things are happening. Sometimes it's running slow. Sometimes I have these suspicious links going to third-party shopping sites. And every once in a while, some of my fonts will have a box with a square in it instead of the letter. And nothing's more frustrating than when you want to do a project and you can't because of these issues. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three simple steps in how you can make sure Cricut Design Space is running efficiently and fast. We're going to take a look at Safari, Google Chrome, and Firefox. And the three steps we're going to take a look at is how to clear your cache, make sure to get rid of those third-party extensions, and last but not least, make sure that Cricut Design Space is always running in the background. So let's go ahead and take a look first at Safari and how to complete these steps. So the first web browser we're going to take a look at is the Safari web browser. Now the Safari web browser is native to Mac computers, so you may or may not have this on your computer. Now the one it is, it looks like a little compass, so let's go ahead and launch that. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to clear your cache in the Safari. Now in order to do this, you will need a develop menu along the top of your screen. If you do not have the develop menu, it is very easy to go ahead and initiate this to be one of your menu options. You're going to come over to the Safari menu and you're going to go to preferences. From there, you're going to have an advanced tab and down below, you're going to see where it says show develop menu in menu bar. So if I unselect it, you're going to see that develop menu went away or if it's selected, I have the develop menu. You wanna make sure that develop menu is turned on. Once it's turned on, it is very simple. You just go to develop and you're gonna hit empty cache and this will clear your cache. And this will solve a ton of problems in Cricut Design Space. And in fact, you will hear a lot of times from Cricut or other Cricut users that you need to clear your cache and that will solve the problem. So very simple way to do it in Safari. The next thing that can wreak havoc in Cricut Design Space is third-party extensions. Now, third-party extensions are things that enhance your web browser experience. So for example, you see up here in my web browser, I have this little pin it extension. This gives me the ability to pin anything on any internet page. So very convenient, very cool. However, it can wreak havoc in Cricut Design Space. A lot of times I hear people say, I have shopping links in Cricut Design Space, or I have these fraudulent leaks in Cricut Design Space. Those are always associated with a third-party extension. Usually you have a shopping third-party extension. So how do you get rid of them? Well, it's really simple. You're gonna come once again to your Safari menu and you're gonna hit preferences. You're going to see a little puzzle piece here with a dial in it and that's your third-party extensions. So as you can see, I have ad block and pin it button. Now I can choose to just turn off all third-party extensions and it will kill all of them. Or if it's on, I can simply uninstall these by selecting the ones that I don't want and hitting uninstall. This will completely remove it off my web browser and this will dramatically stop all of those links that you don't want in Cricut Design Space. Now the last thing we're going to take a look at is making sure the Design Space plugin is always running in the background. Now the Design Space plugin is basically a plugin that goes into your web browser that allows Cricut Design Space to initiate for you to create. What we're going to do is we're going to come up to Safari, we're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to go ahead and go to the Security tab. It has a little lock here. You're gonna see here where it says internet plugins and you wanna make sure that's checked and says allow plugins, but then we can go to website settings. Now these are all my current plugins I currently have. So you're going to see Java here, you're gonna see my QuickTime, but the one we wanna take a look at is our Cricut. Now you're gonna have these options down here that say ask, block, allow, and always allow. I choose the always allow and I've never had an issue with my plugin. This has always solved any of my plugin issues. Once it's done, you wanna make sure it's always allows here, hit done, and then that makes sure that your plugin is always allowed for Cricut Design Space and you won't have any worries about it blocking it or anything weird. 
All right, those are the three simple steps in Safari. You will be amazed on how much this will dramatically improve Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next web browser. So let's go ahead and show you how to do these three easy steps in Google Chrome. Now Google Chrome has become one of the most popular web browsers in America right now. It's probably on your computer and it's a dial with these three colors around it. So let's go ahead and launch it now. The first thing we want to do is show you how to clear your cache in Google Chrome. And it's very simple. You're going to come up to the settings menu, which are these three little lines in the upper right hand corner. From there, you're going to see a more tools option and a clear browsing data option in that. Go ahead and click that. And this is going to bring up a pop-up box that basically is asking you, what exactly are we clearing? Do we want to get rid of our browsing history? Do we want to get rid of cookies and plugins? Do you want to get rid of your passwords? In this case, we just want to clear the cache. So you just want to make sure your checkbox is right there. Everything else is unchecked, but this one here is checked. Then you're simply going to hit clear browsing data and that is going to clear your cache. Now, the next thing is those third party extensions. Now, once again, third party extensions can be great because they really do enhance your web browser experience. You can add Amazon, pin it, you can do an ad blocker. The problem with these is sometimes they wreak havoc in Cricut Design Space. And a lot of times you'll have shopping links or weird things, and it's easy to turn these off. Once again, you're going to go to those three lines in the upper right hand corner, more tools, and extensions. This is going to take you to your extensions menu. As you can see, I have four different extensions running on my web browser. So I want one of two ways can do this to turn these off. We can go ahead and select the enabled by unselecting that it completely does turn it off, but it still keeps it on your computer. If you want to completely delete it off the computer, all you need to do is click the little trash button and say remove. This will actually uninstall it. And then you, as you can see, it's completely removed. So I'm going to do that on all third party extensions to make sure that they're not wreak havoc in Cricut Design Space. The last thing I want to show you is how to make sure your plugin is always allowed in Google Chrome. Cricut Design Space is a plugin for your web browser and in order for it to work, it has to be enabled and allowed on your computer. To check this, once again, you're going to go to your menu option, but this time we're going to go to settings. In settings, we're going to scroll all the way down until you see show advanced settings. You're going to see a privacy setting here, and then we're going to see a content settings. And that's what we want in here. This is where you can go ahead and delete your cookies, which sometimes you'll be recommended to, but you're going to see plugins. We want to go ahead and go to manage exceptions. Now, as you can see, there is my Cricut design space and we want to make sure it says allow. So if it says ask or block, you can run into problems with Cricut design space. So make sure that it's set to allow and then hit done. This will always make sure that Cricut design space is allowed on your web browser and you will not have any issues. These three simple steps in Google Chrome will make Cricut design space run way more efficiently and fast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next web browser and how to do these three simple steps. So the last web browser we're going to take a look on these three easy steps is Firefox. Now Firefox is gaining a ton of popularity because Yahoo has been advertising it heavily on their website. Firefox is this one down here. It's got a fox around a planet. So let's go ahead and launch this one. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at is how to clear your cache, because as we know, that can wreak havoc in Cricut design space. And a lot of times Cricut will tell you to clear these to solve a lot of problems. The way you're going to do this is you're going to go ahead and come down to where it says preferences. You can get that by along the bottom or by these three little lines in the right hand corner. We're going to go ahead and hit the preference tab and you want to make sure you're on the advanced tab here with the gear. And then you want to make sure to go to network underneath that. You're going to say cache web content, and it will tell you currently what you're using. And you can simply just hit clear. Now you're going to see that 6.3 go down to zero. And that means you've successfully cleared your cache. Now, the next thing is those 
pesky third-party extensions. Once again, those third-party extensions can be great to enhance your web browser experience. But if you are seeing links to stores or weird links in Cricut Design Space, it's probably a third-party extension. Now, in Firefox, you can get to it by selecting add-ons down here, or from the three little lines, go to add-ons. From here, you're going to see extensions with the puzzle piece. As you can see, I have two extensions currently running on my web browser. Now, if these are wreaking havoc in Cricut Design Space, I can either disable it or completely remove it off of my web browser. This will greatly improve Design Space if you're getting those links and it just looks like there's a security issue with Design Space. The last thing is making sure your plugins are running for Cricut Design Space. Once again, you're gonna get there one of two ways. You can go to the add-ons from the home screen or those three little lines. You wanna to go to the add-ons because a plugin is an add-on and over to the left hand side you're going to see plugins. We want to make sure that right here where it says Cricut Design Space that it is always activate. We want to make sure it doesn't say ask or never because that will essentially block that Design Space plugin and you can run into a lot of problems with Design Space not working. So those three easy steps in Firefox will greatly improve your experience in Cricut Design Space. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. It is amazing by doing these three simple steps how much better Cricut Design Space will run and how fast it will be, and your Cricut Design Space experience will be that much better. All right, make sure you are checking out my YouTube page and clicking here to subscribe or just click the link on your screen. This way you don't miss out on any of my Cricut Design Space videos or generally any of my review videos. Also, make sure to check out my blog over at www.creativeken.com where you also see all my YouTube videos, tutorials, and projects using the amazing Cricut Explorer. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I love thumbs up, I love comments, and most importantly, I love all of you guys. All right, have an amazing day.